Topic 10, Lesson 5, Deciding Where to Start Dividing. Well, so far, you've learned to divide three-digit numbers. In this lesson, you'll be learning what to do when there are not enough hundreds to divide. Our standard is to find whole number quotients and remainders with up to four-digit dividends and one-digit divisors using strategies based on place value, the properties of operations, and or the relationship between multiplication and division. Our mathematical practices, we're going to make sense of problems and persevere in solving them, reason abstractly and quantitatively, construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others, and model with mathematics. Our focus is, what do you do when there are not enough hundreds to divide? Let's take a look. Roberto is using craft sticks. He has 152 craft sticks. He uses six sticks for each frame he makes. How many frames can he make? So again, we have 152 craft sticks and we're going to make some frames. But he has to use six sticks for each frame that he does use. So how many frames can we make with that many craft sticks? So our problem is 152 divided by 6. And what we're really saying is we're starting with 152 and we want to put them into 6 groups. So how do we do that? Well, let's take a look. If we go ahead and do the standard algorithm, we have 152 divided by 6. Normally, and again, we're going to be using multiplication to help us check our work, but normally we'd go straight to here and there is nothing six times something that's going to give us one or close to one. So we can't start there. And so we actually could just put, just to kind of keep our place there, it's kind of an imaginary zero. We can't put anything above the one. So next we have to look at the number 15. And again, we have to think, all right, six times what gives us 15 or close to 15? In this case, we know that 2 times 6 will get us 12. And so we subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. 1 minus 1 is 0. And next we're going to go ahead and bring down the 2. So again, we're going to look at that and go, all right, 6 times what gives us 32 or something close to 32? In this case, 5. 5 times 6 is 30, and we subtract, and we get a leftover 2. Now notice, we're actually, we filled up our spot, we have a place for each number, so we end up with 25, but we also have a remainder. So our answer is 25 frames with a remainder of two of those craft sticks. That should make sense. All right, let's try one on your own. So pause the video, give this one a try, and come back when you're done. Good luck. Okay, how'd you do? Well, once again, we're starting with a large number, 459 something, and we want to place it into five groups. So... We're going to go ahead and set this up, standard algorithm, 459 divided by 5. And again, we want to take a look and say something times 5 will get us close. But once again, we look at the hundreds, we can't really start there. 5 times nothing will get us 4, even close to 4, at least not go over 4. So once again, we can kind of put a, like, a little imaginary 0 there. So now we have to look at the whole number, 45. 5 times 9 will get us 45. So we subtract and we get 0. So now we can go ahead and bring down the 9. And again, 5 times what gives us 9 or close to 9? And we know that we could do 1. 5 times 2 would be 10, and that's too many. So 5 times 1 is 5. 
and we subtract, we're actually going to get 4. So our answer is 91 with remainder 4. How'd you do? All right. Now try some on your own. Good luck.